It's about 8.30 on Monday. Jerome back here again, Jerome in the house. Uh, we're getting, we're about to get these squats in, uh, part of this booty building program Kevin developed. Should be a fun ride. Um, first day doing it by myself since everyone else is kind of busy or uh, elsewhere. But um, we're, 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 in, we're in here. Uh, let's get some work done. So I'm back now from the booty building uh, over at 24 hour today. Um, it's a good day. Uh, it's actually a lot harder than I thought it would be, especially when you're doing it by yourself. Really no motivation aside from the music in the ears, which is cool. So um, today was a back squat, three by eight. I used 135. Still not really up there in terms of the weight yet, but I'll, I know I'll get there eventually. Just gotta train myself and get, uh, get that strength up. Uh, did some barbell hip thrusts as well. Unfortunately, I didn't document a lot of, I really anything any much else except the squats, which is really what I really need to focus on in terms of my, you know, uh, form and just maintaining the positions and everything, and just seeing the intensity of what I'm doing. So we did bar barbell hip thrusts, uh, three by ten, did my 95 pounds, and uh, Bulgarian split squats as well, three by eight each leg, just holding a 20 pound, uh, two 20 pound dumbbells. Um, 20 pound dumbbell in each hand, and uh, the booty machine, or the hip abductor, 3x10, 3 to 15 reps, um, 10 to 15 reps at a time, it wasn't bad, I should have documented that one because that would have been a little easier to do, kind of slipped my mind. Nearing the end of chemo for this week, uh, so I'll finish off on Wednesday, um, which isn't that bad. Uh, I haven't felt that much, you know, um, craziness and sickness and thing like, things like that. Uh, at least until, um, you know, like before I, when I actually take the medication. I'm on a pill, a uh, chemo pill, uh, it's called Topazide. Take it once a day uh, for about seven days, uh, for seven days on, and then you're off again for seven days, which isn't so bad. Um, but um, it just makes it hard to kind of readjust in terms of the eating schedules and everything because in the morning you just feel like garbage. Um, you really just don't want to want any part of it. But you know you need it, so um, you do your treatments and everything. So it's not that like it's it's, it's got to be done. So either way, you have to just suck it up and do it. Um, I have to admit, it, it does because it, it's a it's a pill. It affects the stomach. It's a little harsh uh, within that first hour, which is why I wait so long to eat. But um, like on and off, I have some like like stomach like tightness and like. It's all around like general like not feeling good about it kind of thing, which is which is not you know unexpected. But you gotta you gotta roll with your side effects and these things that you kind of do. So um, it becomes important in terms of nutrition and what you're eating and how you're eating, how often you're eating. Um, I uh, I haven't really been eating as well as I should. Let's be honest. I mean, you can't just tell with the neck fat and everything, but you know, it's um, you gotta it's, you give and take, I guess. And I think um, you can't deny your body the things that it needs or wants. Um, I do have to supplement uh, with multivitamins, fish oil, something like that. Especially on my, my heavy workout days like today, um, I had my legs feel good. I felt really, really good. With, you know, making sure I had enough fuel in the body just for it. And um, all in all, it wasn't a bad day, so I'm happy with uh, with my lifts, um, with the accessory movements and everything too. And you know, these these side effects are only momentary, uh, at least until a couple of days after, like the seventh day. So by Thursday and Friday, I should, Thursday, I mean, I, I guess Friday or Saturday, I should be fine. But uh, otherwise, it wasn't bad. Um, it's tolerable, but you know, I have an iron stomach, so I can basically take any. I can take, I can take it. It's not that bad, but it's um, it has its ups, it has its downs, of course. You know the sluggish feeling and like the, the general stomach pains and stuff like that. Um, it actually does make it harder actually to um to maintain your squat position, especially for me. Um, deadlifting is actually not easy as well because of the bent over motion that you have. Um, it compresses that, it compresses that part of the stomach, and with the rib fractures there as well, that doesn't help me in that regard. But um. I'm here doing this because I need to maintain the strength and get it back, get it back together, uh, basically. So um, that's usually the goal the, in, in this case. But you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a progress. It's it's some progress that needs to be made in this regard. Um, not only just like physically with the lifting, but dealing with the side effects. And it's expected, like I said. You know, um, 
Um, I have to be really regimented in terms of that. Um, which, uh, which doesn't sound like a bad idea considering I'm still not working right now. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's tough. It's tough. And um, you, want, you want as minimal side effects as possible with this, with this kind of treatment. Knowing that what it does to your body, um, basically it breaks down everything. Um, a moment in time before my old chemo treatments I had and I lost my hair. My, actually, my hair actually got white. I'm getting the Doctor Strange look uh, and Mr. Fantastic look uh, to some degree. Um, my, hair, my hair color is much lighter. Um, and if, uh, that's pretty much uh, you know, some like, minor side effects. But the major ones are in terms of like, what happened to me before with the, uh, with the pericardial effusion and just like the fluid buildup and everything. That, that's the worst case scenario. But you know, you, you take your you take your side effects. You have to deal with them as you as they come forward. Um, but my, you know, advice for people that are you know on this uh, you know in, in the same situation. Um, space out your meals. Um, eat eat appropriate foods. Um, things that aren't going to irritate the stomach. Um, as a nurse, there's a lot of things that, you, that we know that won't irritate you as much. Um, something that produces a lot of acid, like dairy and citrus fruits and spicy foods, things like that. Got to be really careful with that kind of stuff. But you know, when the at the end of the day, sometimes you know you forget these kinds of things and you enjoy what you got. So, um, so yeah. So I think tomorrow is another day. So um, it's Tuesday. It'll be an upper body day. So. Uh, I think, I think uh, Kevin and I will meet uh, tomorrow at the gym and uh, we'll bench. Uh, I'll probably get some accessories going on. This time I'll actually document them, so don't worry. Um, like I said, sorry about not putting all of it out there uh, today and because I was only focusing on the squats. But tell you the truth, like, you know, I, I forgot to slip mine like in the middle of my set. So uh, my bad. Um, I'm sure the ne next time the videos will be there. Um, I'll get them in next time. I promise this time, okay? Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, keep we'll, we'll keep we'll, we'll keep this track. We'll keep focus and, uh, and, and get it right. And keep going. Um, uh, just say thank you to everybody else that's been following thus far and seen my video and everything. So um, so yeah, let's uh, let's keep, let's keep going on this journey. All right. See you guys later.